Hello friends, meet again with the scroll of science. Do you believe that dinosaurs existed? Then did you know there was a type of dinosaur that could fly? Yes, he is a pterodactyl. Have you ever found this animal? Current, right? Let's watch the video. On the east coast of Papua New Guinea there are a series of islands called the Bismarck Archipelago, Rambunzo and Umboy are two of the smaller islands in the archipelago. These two islands are said to be known as the residence of Ropen, which if interpreted freely from the local language means flying demon or demon flyer. Ropen is a winged cryptid resembling a pterosaur or pterodactyl. This bird has been found by indigenous people in Papua New Guinea. You, you told them about when you went up to the mountain where there is a, a lake or a big or a lot of water, yeah. right? Okay. Two minutes later. Oh, a few minutes later? Okay. Okay. Do you notice, um, did, it, did it have wings? Yeah. It had wings, okay. Uh, about how large were the wings? Like Some explanations could be large birds or bats. However, the natives still claim to see something more like a featherless reptile winged beast. Ropen is described as a large bird with a beak full of teeth, webbed feet, a head with a long tail. This description fits the extinct creature, Rompharynchus, a pterosaur with a wingspan of between 3 to 4 feet. Shortly after World War II ended, missionaries began exploring the forests and remote places in Papua New Guinea, sightings and reports about Ropen began to circulate. Some sightings even stated that Ropen's wingspan was up to 24 feet. Ropen is feared by the indigenous people of Papua New Guinea and the people living in the Solomon Islands. Ropen is the main hunter at night. They live like bats where they live deep in the forest in caves in Rambunzo and Umboy. Due to being a nocturnal creature, Ropen is rarely seen during the day. Ropen is said to be a creature that has a very great sense of smell when they are looking for prey, more than once reports have stated that these flying demons attack the funeral procession where they try to take the corpse to eat. Ropen sightings have often been reported and what often happened was in 2004 when people reported to the local government about sightings of more than dozens of Ropen sightings. In addition to various reports regarding the existence of Ropen every year, until now there has been no physical evidence of this creature, whether it was captured alive or found to be a carcass. Indeed, there are several pictures of Ropen that have been photographed over the years but that the photo is too blurry or unclear to be concrete evidence of its existence. An interesting nautical chart from 1595 contains a warning in which it is stated that sailors should watch out for the presence of several sea monsters, including depicting two flying creatures with long necks, crested heads, wings with ribs and fantastic tails, where at the ends it splits like a fin. In 1944, American fighter pilot Dwayne Hodgkinson was stationed at the Allied Finchhofen military base in Papua New Guinea when he saw something he will never forget. Dwayne said he and his colleagues were climbing the trail, it's a pretty heavily wooded area, but they came to a relatively clean area. He was traveling through the forest when he heard a loud and startling sound. Then, he saw a creature, which took off and made a few steps down the path and into the air. He was so big and when his wings were bent, you could see all the bushes beneath him level. Hodgkinson instantly recognized the creature in front of him. Duane said he was really surprised at the time, because he said it was a pterodactyl. It has a long snout on top, a long frill on the back of its head, and it has large, large wings. 